Okay, so now it's time to start getting into some of the graphs on these. We have the period, phase shift, and half point that they want us to find. And then we want us to use this information in order to graph. So we have tangent x plus pi over 4. So the first thing we want to do is find the period. Now the period is always pi divided by the number in front of the x. In this case, the period is just going to be pi because if we do pi divided by 1 in front of the x, we get pi as our answer. So period is pi. Now the phase shift is going to be the opposite sign of the c over b. So it's going to be negative pi over 4 divided by 1, which we can just put negative pi over 4 there. We don't need to show the 1 there. So negative pi over 4 is the phase shift. We're also going to find the half point because we're going to use that later. Uh, when we get our graph. The half point is always your period divided by 2. So your half point for this problem is going to be pi over 2. So now that we have all this information, we need to find now all the points that are going to be on our graph. So the way that we're going to do this is recall the graph of tangent. It had originally the, uh, it was the vertical asymptotes were on the half pi's if you remember. So basically we've have, we have it originally on the vertical axis and then we had one to the left and one to the right of what that is. Well the phase shift is going to tell you where the uh, kind of where the old axis used to be at. So what you can think of here is on this at this point I'm going to have negative pi over 4 and that's my phase shift right there. However, where it actually is, is it's right actually in the center between these two. Because originally, if you look back at the original graph that we had for the tangent, this originally was at the, at the zero, but the phase shift means the whole graph has shifted to the left in amount of pi over 4. So what we actually have to find here is we need to find out what these other key points are going to be, and our graph is going to be drawn in between there. So pi, negative pi over 4 is here. Now how we find these, this is where we're going to use the half point. So from this if we subtract, so the half point is how far it is between each of these segments that you see here. So uh, to find out where this is, I'm going to take negative pi over 4 and I'm going to subtract the half point here. Now I'm going to add it to find these. I'm going to add it once, add it twice, add it three times to get this one there. So if I take negative pi over 4, now this right here, the half point, this is also, if I multiply it by 2, I can also think of that as 2 pi over 4. That way I can get the same denominator as this, and it'll make it easier for subtracting and adding. If I take negative pi over 4 and subtract 2 pi over 4 from it, then what I'm going to get is negative 3 pi over 4. So that's what this is going to be right here. Negative 3 pi over 4 will be that vertical asymptote. To get the other ones, I'm going to add 2 pi over 4. So negative pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4, I'm going to get this one right here. So if I add 2 pi over 4 to that, this is going to be positive pi over 4. That means that the vertical axis, we can just go ahead and draw that one right there, because that's right between the negative and the positive. So this would be the zero line right here. The graph doesn't Really, that doesn't really help our graph at all because the graph's going to be between these vertical ones instead, but that's where you would draw the vertical asymptote. It's right in between the negative and the positive. Now, if I'm going to keep on going here, I want to find the other ones. I'm going to take pi over 4. I'm going to add the half point to it. That's going to give me 3 pi over 4 right here. And if I add another 2 pi over 4, I'm going to get 5 pi over 4 to get those. So, what is it that I actually did there? Okay. I first did negative pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 4 to get negative 3 pi over 4 right here. That's that one. Now the other ones I did adding. So I did negative pi over 4, that was my original phase shift, and I added 2 pi over 4 to it to get pi over 4. Then I did pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4 to get 3 pi over 4, and so forth. So that's what I did algebraically speaking. That's what I did to get these. So remember, for tangent graphs, the phase shift is an odd spot. It's not all the way at the end like that. It's actually right in the middle. 
because that's what the original graph actually did. The only reason why I'm finding these over here, by the way, is because the instructions say I need to find two periods. So this will be one period and have another period right there. Now for the graph, the graph is going to go in the same direction as what the original graph does. So it's these cube graphs that go in between like that and they'll go in that direction. There's no negatives or anything we have to deal with or any flips and so the graph will just look like that. That's what the normal graph, that's because the normal graph does that. That's why these will go in the same direction.